right. Today, I will make this video happen. Jeez. Today is Saturday, December 11th, 2021. It is, you are watching That Is Rich, I Am Rich. Uh, this is a, uh, a vlog of my shit show I like to call life. Uh, it is a good reflection and a and, uh, source of information for those going through cancer, for those going through uh, anything, basically, through life. Because uh, it, it sucks for everybody, but you know, maybe maybe we can all learn from each other in uh, in, in safer ways to cope, healthier ways to cope, lesser destructive ways to cope, um, lesser harmful for sure. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, this is it's not this is not a, a big old emo podcast. YouTube or whatever. This is solely again my my a reflection of of, of my shit. Um, anyways, if 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 you don't already know, uh, I've got stage three pancreatic cancer. Uh, I've been dealing with dealing with my diagnosis now for approximately six months. Um, in one regard or another, I have experienced one regimen. Uh, of chemotherapy already no radiation there is a two uh, a difference between the two um, so you know be sure to read up on your stuff if, if you're at all interested in, in this or affected rather um, especially if you're you're being affected you know know, know what's happening to you um, nonetheless I I've gone through uh, the one regimen um, again a prospective surgery, a Whipple procedure rather, is something uh, that has been spoken of. Seems like the only real, um, you know, re resecting it is going to be the only real uh, curative process or, or, or procedure uh, to, to get after. So, nonetheless, again, you're watching That Is Rich. This is my update. I am good. Uh, it's it's about quarter to eight. Um, I am headed to the gym right now. Um, as I may have mentioned before, you know, just keeping physically active uh, helps with my neuropathy. Helps with all the the pins and needles and in, in my uh, in my fingers and toes. Um, really helps with like stiffness of, of joints and and uh, and just just other odd muscles and whatnot cramping um, water you know obviously then also helps with, with cramping and whatnot there too but nonetheless um, you know just staying healthy fruits and vegetables you know 2,000 calories a day um, I weigh approximately 170 pounds I do bounce between 160 and 170. I'm not horribly upset with it. Um, I, I, I was scared. I was dropping weight really, really fast. Uh, really, really fast. And it scared the shit out of me. It was just like too much. Um, it, it was a shock to my system. I got, uh, you know, I had ended up breaking out in, in like weird little illnesses, little colds and coughs and uh, fever. Um, and I was just like, really feeling decrepit really quick you know I was I was 215 or what have you not necessarily like there's big you know jacked 15 you know 215 you know I was there's a lot of fluff there but um to still to go from 215 to to a buck 60 to a buck 60 essentially um initially it was it I mean it was just a lot it was scary but I have to remember I changed my diet pretty drastically my appetite decreased, I mean, to a third of what it, what it had been, and it just, it all came on very, very quickly, very, very scary, um, 
was, you know, and, and, and to be honest, I didn't really have energy to be even working out. I wasn't even, it wasn't that I was working out and, you know, losing my appetite and, you know, maybe diarrhea or whatever, or, or throwing, you know, vomiting, throwing up. It wasn't anything like that. It was literally just, I was just like withering away, just like a, like a prune in the sun or, you know, I guess what would be, what's a prune before it's a prune? Is it a date? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a date. I think I got that right. Um, anywho, I've been going out. I've been going out. I've been trying to get it. You know, trying to uh, get it hard, honestly. Like between going to the gym, I switched my schedule. So now I, I try to work out twice a day. Um, being at work, ironically, is the hardest part of my day. It really is the hardest part of my day, excuse me. <coughs> I, uh, sitting there for too long, again, just everything just settles, it feels like, and I get so just tight, I guess, so, like, you know, I know some people get antsy or some people whatever in their in their office jobs but I I truly it just hurts I I seize I feel like you know without regular motion like so much worse than having ADD it's not even like my brain that that gets totally spaced out or what have you but truly oh excuse me truly uh my, my physical being. So, that's that on, uh, on that. But, yeah, I've been getting it. I've been, I've been going to shows. Um, I went to an, uh, a show last night. It was awesome. Prof, very, very cool at the Black Sheep. Very, very fun. I uh, also went to a, uh, an avalanche game, the uh, Denver Avalanche. They, they kicked the shit out of Tennessee. It was amazing. Such a high scoring game. You know, I've been getting it. Getting it. I was a, in a suite nonetheless. So super fun. Got hammered. JK, LOL. No drinking. No alcohol. No drugs. Just pure, pure. Like truly back to trying to do this. I've, I've been saying it since the beginning, since my diagnosis. I've been <coughs> living this Benjamin Button life. I, I've I've grown into. I am I am this Puerto Rican Benjamin Button. You know, I, I experienced childhood and in, in all of its grandeur, grandeur, and and grew into this adolescent or, or teen to believe that <laughs> that being an adult was going to be awesome, was going to be fun, a little more free. I didn't necessarily have the best relationship with my mom, so, you know, bumping heads and whatnot, that wasn't fun. I, I figured being an adult, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, ready to roll. Not at all. Taxes suck. Relationships suck. Getting sick sucks. Uh, you know, just incredibly broken. So, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I eat, you know, when, 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 when I uh, have a cheat day, I'm going to, I'm going to have a waffle with a, with a scoop of ice cream or, or whatever for, for uh, dinner. Cause I feel like it or ice cream before my dinner, whatever. Gluten free, gluten free, dairy free, etc. Everything free, nothing, nothing fun. Ice cream, but you know, I, I, I'm just trying to do, take steps like that. You know, say, saying, you know, yes to to anything and everything. Whether that's going to uh, a hockey game, that you know, again, I don't, I mean, I necessarily have the energy to be extraordinarily lively for I'm still very like the fatigue is real battling the fatigue 
uh, of chemo is 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 a real thing for sure. Take several cups of coffee and several scoops of pre-workout any given day to uh, just to do this, just to be like this alive. Otherwise, I'm you know the equivalent of of that that girl in the in the pot commercial. Don't do pot. Just melt, melt into the chair. And just, uh, but yeah, no, you know, I'm, I've I've been throwing care to the wind. I did I did do a couple dumb things like a couple impulsive tattoos. Um, don't do don't 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 get tattoos when uh, when going through chemo. It's not not a good idea. Not at all. Very bad idea actually. You get uh, very easily will you infect very easily will you then there um, get fever break out in like a fever from the infection right <coughs> it's just a mess it really is so don't do it um, I pray that you're you're not going through chemo you know someone someone said some one of my friends rather said some shit to me the other day that 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 hit me and it was like you know I'm not trying to play the martyr, but like, shit, man, I, I, I didn't necessarily do anything to deserve this. Like, you know, no one ever really deserves cancer. Maybe, you know, maybe in some past life or something or another, they did something wildly crazy. I don't know. I have no clue. Or even in their present life. But, you know, cancer still sucks even for that person. You know, so it's it's a, this constant battle with themselves to then need to go out into society and deal with everything else. So, you know, ha having, having to handle COVID on top of this, whew, I got to go to my treatments by myself and just sit alone for hours. And like, you know, apparently normally you, you get a little treatment buddy, you, know, you can bring a friend or whatever. And phone a friend and, and be able to hang, hang out with them. I guess you technically still phone one, but you're not going to have, you know, 50 people in a, in a clinic sitting there phoning their, you know, loved ones. So, I don't know. It's just, it's all been rough. It's just crazy. This is, again, just a reflection more than anything on my experience with life. But uh, specifically, you know, my journey with, with cancer right now, um, you know, real talk, I've got no clue what anything looks like. I genuinely don't. Everybody asks me all the, all the time. I, I really hope that anybody who is asking me, like, look in my, in my 80s, my 80s shaded eyes. I need to keep my, my eyes polarized while driving, otherwise, I, otherwise I'll go, go blind. This is too much. Uh, being, you know, driving around the net, the, the, the brightness of the sun literally is just, just so violent. <laughs> um, but please look into my eyes and understand, I don't know what tomorrow looks like. Stop asking me. I don't know. I don't know what the schedule looks like. I don't know. You know You know what I know? I know what you know, which ain't shit. You know what I also know? Is that I need, I need right now, today, to experience, to experience shit. And anything and everything that I may have thought I regretted once upon a time, I'm, I'm now just getting it. Just getting after it. I'll, you want to skydive? I don't want to skydive, but I'll say yes. I don't, I don't, again, I don't want to skydive, but I will say yes. I don't want to uh, bungee jump, but I will say yes. You know, I, I, anything and everything else I do want to do, and I will say yes. Just let's go. Let's go. Let's plan it out. Help me share this GoFundMe so, you know, we can go on, on these experiences. Even if you don't necessarily have the funds for it, by way of helping generate funds, by way of sharing my GoFundMe, I'll pay for you. I, you know, I'll pay your way. 
it's it money is not it doesn't matter guys like that's what it that's what this needs to everybody needs to realize the same as energy the same as anything else like money doesn't matter i see these little clips now on youtube and or uh rather you know even like tiktok or or instagram it's like, oh you know no the the new rich is not you know is 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 different you know no they don't care about what your what your house looks like you know we're debt free it's like I, i'm laughing because it's like dave ramsey already called that shit way back in the day like that that is cool that is cool is to be debt free experiencing stuff going to you know all these crazy spots where where uh, you know you see on on Google or something or a random Google you know background or something something beautiful right it's it's experiences like that dancing in the streets of uh you know on on saint sebastian or whatever in puerto rico you know that's that's a big deal doing stuff like that Go, going to <coughs> going to thailand experiencing the culture eating all of every noodle possible right there in the street I don't know. Like it, it sucks that it's taken this long to like, re, like not only appreciate but like have this just dire need, like absolute desperate claw at at, at life. Again, because I have no clue what time looks like. I've got no clue what tomorrow looks like. Uh, my scan is the 28th who knows thereafter what my life looks like if uh, if if I can help someone else get through their symptoms maybe fight through their symptoms and enjoy one thing or another maybe get on your GoFundMe a little sooner maybe you know get on losing weight sooner you know taking a real aggressive look at who you are what you're doing to yourself if you're just drinking if you're just eating like shit uh, you know, th those are the real facts. No one's gonna, no one's gonna take you to the gym first thing in the morning. You know, it, what I've learned is no one's gonna do not shit for you, literally until you become a vegetable. Even, even when you are a vegetable, and and I'm sorry if you are, and it, I'm impressed that you are and watching my video, this video. But that person wiping, you know, your backside. Even they have their own life. You know, they, they are ultimately looking out for their number one. It sucks. That that really is life. And and unfortunately, with like the fears uh, uh, and, and what is just human nature, I guess, in reaction, self-protection, self-preservation, if this is like a fight or flight thing, you know, I, I, maybe it's just me being jaded. You know, maybe it, it truly is me just being super jaded and really having trust issues, I guess. But, you know, at the end of it, it, it really is just a good, safe and, and fair bet to, to, to bet on yourself, to really gamble on yourself, take care of yourself first. Shit, if you've ever flown in, flown a plane, or flo not flown a plane, but flown in a plane, you ever sit by the emergency exit? They literally demand that you, like, they, they repeat and ask you time and time again if you are prepared to be that person exactly. You need to understand that you will take care of yourself first. Watch a clip. I wish I, wish I was cool with editing and I could just, oh, here, boop. Put a, put a little clip in the in the corner or whatever. Watch a clip. If you haven't seen it, you will you you need to be prepared yourself before you can dare help anybody else. And I feel that applies 
now to everything is all literally everything I don't know that's kind of that's my rant that's my update on on everything I hope you like my pit vipers uh, I don't have them necessarily for sale myself I would like to create a store though if uh, if there is anybody out there in the YouTube uh, universe that uh, can help me create a YouTube store or Instagram store I'd like to sell that is rich maybe that is rich sunglasses maybe maybe hoodies or or, or beanies beanies would make sense you know given the fact that I'm bald just super bald super gold I'm freezing right now in a in a heated car you're the best I love you meow yeah.